Um, so for those of you who do not know me, my name is Julie Pryor. I'm the Head of Continuous Improvement here at BHRUT. One of the courses that we offer um, is Advanced Lean Training. We're currently we're offering it about once a year. Um, and this is for senior staff to want to learn a deeper level of lean. Um, and it goes into lean a lot more deeper than, say, the Pride Way for Leaders. Um, this is the opportunity for that person to go on and teach and coach their staff within their um, within their areas so essentially they become the extension of the continuous improvement team um, advancing in training is the course that all of our um, senior and um, continuous improvement specialists um, attend uh, and complete as part of their competencies of a specialist um, and um, this gives an opportunity for others um, to do that too within the organization and there is a um, a learning learning level that actually by the end if you were to do advanced lean training you'd be able and you graduate from advanced lean training you would be able to go on and learn um, and be a team lead in a um, um, a lean improvement event and also go on to be a workshop lead as well for an RPIW or Kaizen event so there is some really good things um, that can come once you've done advanced lean training. Um, we have actually redesigned it this year since um, coming away from the Virginia Mason um, Institute uh, program and the partnership that we were in for five to six years so we would have redesigned it so it fits better within um, BHRUT and it's now stretched over a four month program um, which is a modular style and the feedback we've got from our first PDSA is that it's probably one of the best courses that's, that they've been on in a, a large amount of NHS experience so we're very proud of that um, and we've also opened that out to our um, CCG colleagues as well um, which was a fantastic opportunity um, to share and spread this across the ICS. Um, and before we go into graduations, I would just like to um, congratulate and I'm really pleased to say that Zoe Love, our senior continuous improvement specialist, has completed the Coach the Coach programme. Um, there is only um, one other person who can do that, and that is me. So to have another person is absolutely fantastic. And what that actually provides us, it, we are able to um, teach and coach our staff and assess them so that actually they can do their own improvement events independently um, without the need for the continuous improvement team so again this enables that sharing and spreading that brilliant opportunity of work so um, that being said um, I would like to hand over to Matthew please for our graduation ceremony thank you Julie um, and great news there about Zoe as well sending our thank you to her. so right so we've got three graduates right uh, I'll just switch my notifications off there. And first up, we've got Matt Henry. Um, Matt is our first colleague to graduate from advanced lean training from outside of BHRUT. He's our shared PMO program manager for urgent emergency care and older people, and he works for NHS North East London. And working with our partners in this way will support our development as an integrated care system and it was great to have Matt with us today. And Matt, I'm, I'm going to ask each of you this today. I want to know your, your one of your sort of key successes or your key takeaway from completing advanced lean training. Matt, please. Yeah, thanks for, thanks for inviting us to this session today. Um, so I guess, yeah, I mean, so it was new for the CCG. So I think sort of myself and Julian, one of my colleagues, were sort of one of the first to go through this from the CCG side of things. I know so you've been doing a BHR for quite a long time um, but no so yeah thank you for sort of offering this to us and going through it um, I think one of the key things that I guess we've learned out of it I mean there's absolutely tons and I think Julie sort of alluded to it when she's given it but her introduction there but I've been in the interest for about 15 years attended lots of different courses and I think in all that time this is probably the most valuable one that I've been through and done um, and there's loads that you'll you'll end up sort of thinking about day in day out um, after you've done it you'll be sitting there watching tv at home and you'll think of all these lessons that you've learned and watching applying it to that um but yeah i mean there's absolutely there's thousands of things i learned over the, the sort of you know five six months that we spent together um and i guess the key i mean there's, there's loads but one of the key things for me was something you're probably familiar with is getting out on the gemba so going out on the shop floor um so a lot of ccg staff we tend to be remote sort of stuck in our bedrooms 
or in the office um, and hearing about these problems and we don't really venture out. So, you know, one thing we're trying to take forward is, okay, if you've got an issue in ED with ambulance crews, go out there and see what the problem is. So, you know, hear the feedback from the consultants, from the doctors, from the managers, um, but go and see what the issue is for yourselves and that will you know, help you have a better picture and better understanding of what's actually happening. Um, and you can contribute, you know, that way. So some of our staff are venturing out a bit more these days. So we're going to try and roll that you know, forward a lot more. But I think, yeah, if you can roll this out across the ICS and change that mentality amongst the number of staff, it will be really, really valuable. So, Thanks, yeah. Matt. Thank you very much. And I think that's so important. It's that exactly as Magda said, it's go and see what's happening, ask why, and, and show respect for that feedback you get, because it's, I think it's it, lots of uh, policy or lots of improvement changes don't survive contact with reality, do they? And I think the great thing I love about lean training is, is that big emphasis on getting out there and actually finding out what's really happening and getting to the heart of what the actual problem is, not the presenting problem, because quite often it's something quite different from what you first think. So, Matt, this is a, a virtual certificate, I suppose, in some respects. It's an actual certificate as far as I'm concerned, but it's a virtual presentation of a certificate. So I'm going to pass it to you um, through some um, postal form or whatever. But congratulations and thank you. We look forward to more of your colleagues getting out joining us on the shop floor and congratulations. Well done. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. OK, next up as well, we've got Hamza. Uh, Hamza is the first member of the Improvement Directorate to graduate from the new version of the Advanced Lean Training Programme as one of our own. And so Hamza, I'll ask you that same question then about your key success for completing ALT and many congratulations from all of us at the Trust. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you, Julie, and thank you, Clarissa, for inviting me. So I think the, um, I would say, uh, two main key success uh, for my ALT journey was uh, staying very close uh, in touch with my coach, uh, like um, just Julie uh, mentioned, uh, Zoe did a um, fantastic job, and I was staying closely with um, in touch with Julie and Zoe around um, if I have an issue, if I have um uh, things that I need to get a clarification on it on my assignments. I was getting in touch with them and seeking their helps. And I think another key success for my project, I um, came from a very different background. I came from engineering background and I didn't have um, any clinical background. So I needed to spend a lot of time in, um, in the Gemba, just like uh, Matt mentioned. Uh, staying with the people uh, on the shop floor and see and seek the, the um, ideas from them is is one of the key success for any ALT projects that you want to implement. Uh, making sure that people's um, voice is heard and um, their ideas is um, uh, heard and they making a safe environment for them to to share their ideas. This will not only help that uh, you get a very good quality improvement project it will help with the sustaining that quality improvement project because the idea came from the people from the shop floor who they are really doing the work and you're just there facilitating and helping them to implement that idea thank you thank you very much hamza it's fantastic to hear from you and i think that real emphasis from all of us about getting you know getting to grips with what's really going on is such an important part of how we make these changes within the organization once again hamza Here's a certificate. It will find its way to you uh, through appropriate means. And uh, congratulations on uh, being another one of our graduates today. Thank you. And finally, uh, today we've got Siobhan, uh, who's head of th radiotherapy here at BHRET, keen supporter of the Pride Way, who also graduated this year from the Pride Way for Leaders and has also supported key members of her team to do so. So Siobhan, are you with us? I'm just having a look through the family. Yes, I am. Yes, I don't like, <laughs> I've been interviewing all day. So same question to you again, Sh Siobhan, tell us your key success from completing ALT. I think for me, um, I come from radiotherapy where the Pride Way is really embedded within our department. So it was trying to think about um, what I could do with my ALT homework. But so I decided to spread it out more to other services within cancer services. So I went down to the outpatient clinic and I also supported um, the chemotherapy daycare unit. Um, so I think it's it's me, as I think what Julie and Zoe will say, it's us being, that having had the extra training now being able to support other areas. Um, what I was also able to do was um, use things that had already been implemented within the department and PDSA them further. So to ensure compliance to the tools, we were able to have standardisation around the department. Um, and then one of the um, my field works, I did um, some theoretical work, which we're about to implement with um, 
in January with how we can um, optimise our radiotherapy CT planning, Scott. So the work that I've done theoretically is about to be put into practice and that will be a, a brilliant vision to see for the department. And finally, I think it's I've realised through doing ALT how lucky I am to work in radiotherapy and how lucky I am that this trust is invested in some amazing cutting edge technology that, su that fully supports the um, tools and methodologies of lean healthcare management. Thank you very much, Siobhan. That's fantastic feedback there again as well. And what I can really pick up from the three of you is, is that sort of sense of, you know, quite right, you should be proud of what you've achieved, but also your enthusiasm for the way in which it's changing your practice and enabling you to support colleagues to change their practice too. Once again, Siobhan, there we go. The certificate will make its way to you as well. And so that's three new graduates. And I was talking to Julie, does that mean we're up to about 35 graduates now of ALT, Julie? Is that somewhere in that, in that that's number? Great, yeah. We've, um, yep, we're up to 35 graduates. So that is for 35 people who could now go on to um, training and learning about how to run your own improvement events too, should they wish to. Okay, so that's fantastic. So we'll see those numbers increasing as we get into 2022 as well. And hopefully at some point I'll be handing myself a certificate as well. So, okay, folks. So I think that's us covered uh, the main agenda points today. I know a number of you are on question time with the exec as well today. So we've quite a bit of conversation today. Has anyone got any questions or anything they wanted to raise about what they've heard today? Or Julie and team, if there was anything else you wanted to, to pick up? Matthew, one thing I was going to say, I'm just typing it in the group chat, is to say um, we actually have a new cohort advanced lean training starting the 17th of March. Um, and from the feedback that we've got um, from this PDSA, so we're going to do in true the Pride Way style is a second PDSA um, and actually we're making it a little bit shorter. So, um, so instead of being just over four and a half, four and a bit months, it's now going to be three and a bit months. Um, and, and, um, and we've redesigned a couple of the days to make it work um, um, more effect efficiently, I think is the word. Um, but yeah, so we're always looking at the feedback and redesigning it to um, to reflect that feedback. So yeah, so if you're interested, please um, email us and um, it'll be great to see you. Thanks, Julie. And if ever there was a training course where you'd hope it was being regularly redesigned and made more efficient, it would be this one, wouldn't it? So, OK, so look, thank you very much. Congratulations, everyone. And, uh, you know, and to our three graduates today. And also thank you very much to Dr. Semby for sharing his improvement story. Have a smashing rest of the week, everyone. I'll see you all again soon.